But what is rap? Rap is poetry and motion. And my life transformed because I was able to get the in stuff, inner stuff out. So as I'm writing my raps, I'm literally starting to heal myself to get this pain out. Now, it took me about a year to start to get some rhythm, some flow, they call it. Spit some bars. This is some California term. I don't know if they use it out here, but. And then I, I went in the middle of one of my raps, I did something like this. Well, I'll be the ripping, I'm thinking, I'm making, taking my time. I'll be the thinking, I'm making, I'm sucking, I'm making, I'm kicking it with the rhymes. And then I would switch a reggae. Is a man the one to feel? Thinking, I'm making, I'm sucking, I'm making, I'm kicking it, kicking it with the deals. I'm gonna both every look, I'm gonna nothing. And people were like, oh my gosh. And then the girls were like, that white boy is fine. And then everything changed. <laughs> and everything changed. And I bring this up to show you Mr. Diamond D when I was his foster youth because they didn't put it in my intro. But I'm a pretty big viral sensation called the rapping dad. This little rap I'm going to do for you will show you my mental state now at this time, raising my kids. So I'm in the car with my 10-year-old daughter and my 6-year-old son. And when I get in the car, there's no headphones, there's no iPod time, iTouch time. We talk to dad. That's where I got him confined. <laughs> they can't do anything. So I usually make it fun, joking, rapping about stuff. And I, got it, I get in the car with my daughter and my son, and I turn on the radio, and there's this song coming on from Nicki Minaj. She's a pop star, rap star. And uh, I'm like, oh, turn this off. I don't want my little daughter listening. And then she goes, why can't I listen to it? I'm like, because I don't like what they're saying. So I decided to make it fun for her, so I did this. And it got videotaped. My son videotaped it, and, and then it took off. And it goes like this. Got to keep the lyrics clean, if you know what I mean. No more Nicki Minaj in a twerking machine. No more naked fashion from Kim Kardashian, your mom. Do you need an intervention? And Miley, no more wrecking ball. Put on some clothes, where's Hannah? Yeah! <laughs> Gotta turn off Kanye, Eminem, Jay-Z, no more cuss words and negativity. Cause a lot of rappers talk about drug sex killing. When they gonna use their words to start healing? Infect the mind of our young kids when I think about the little boy who didn't know Jesus, but knew Lil Wayne, knew T-Pain, knew 2 Chains, 50, LeBron James. This is insane in the membrane because I'm ripping, I'm thinking, I'm making, take about the rap game. Everybody's got a little battle to battle. I'm the rapping day, I got to get you back in the saddle. Ripping, I'm thinking, I'm making, I'm thinking, I'm making, I'm kicking, I'm kind of famous. Here I am now making up my own language. Thank you. So having that creative outlet literally changed my life. Poetry, that's what it was. Poetry literally changed my life. Now, I became the man I am today because someone took the time and the courage to give me more than what was expected to go beyond. Because no one ever gave up on me, my life transformed. Someone took the time to make me feel important, respected, accepted, included, secure, and loved. And that's what every one of you want in life. This, these are human needs. These are the critical needs of humans right here. And imagine a kid that's been abused. Imagine a kid that's been molested. <coughs> Watch his parents die right in front of them. <coughs> imagine what we've been through. And then... How do we find happiness? How do we find joy in life? But I found my joy because rap was the vehicle to help me start writing. This kid who grew up, thrown away, spent time in psychiatric hospital, I wrote, I've now written seven books. And I started to read and write at nine and ten years old. You cannot tell me that with an investment in a kid, your life their life will change. Your life will change, especially helping a kid that's gone through so much and to see them come from nothing, negative nothing. I mean, think about it. I lost everything in my life. I lost my mom, my dad, my brother, my sister, my aunts, my uncles, my cousins, my grandparents. I lost my room, my school, my toys. I lost my dignity. I lost my self-respect. I lost the ability to trust. I lost the ability to love. I lost my identity, but through the years, I learned how to turn nothing into something. So don't tell me that you can't make a difference. We're here today because you can make a difference. Look, 
I've been married 22 years. I have four beautiful children. I have broken the cycle. 